Next to face the dragons is Katie Mullally from Somerset. She's hoping to make her mark in the den with her classical creations. The world needs this product because it is something that can be handed down as an heirloom to the next generation. And she already has a dragon in her sights. The dragon I think I'd work best with is Deborah. I think she has a really good understanding about growing a small business. But will any of the dragons be persuaded into partnership? Hello dragons, my name is Katie Mullally and I'm founder of Katie Mullally Jewellery and I'm looking for £70,000 for a 10% share of my business. When I was a teenager, I was very lucky to be able to work in my grandmother's antique business. And there I found my love of all things vintage. I also learned about a very important mark, the hallmark. I hallmark all my pieces with my KMM mark and the London assay marks as well. I want to design vintage pieces, a depth and character to them with a modern twist. I'm also inspired by my love of Ireland. My father has given me my Irish heritage. I'm very proud of that as well. My child's been featured in a number of publications, including Vogue, Refinery29, Grazia, OK. Many thanks are just... Looking for a dragon seal of approval is West Country entrepreneur Katie Mullally little gift here to help you make up your minds. Thank you. Thank you. She's asking for £70,000 for a 10% share of her vintage-inspired jewellery business. Wow. But can she charm her favourite dragon, Deborah Meaden? Thank you, Katie. Um, so, I understand what you do, but I want to understand what's unique about you. They're designed by me, they're made in the UK, and they're all hallmarked. In the UK, you don't have to hallmark silver below 7.78 .7 grams, but I believe it's adding something extra for the customer. Okay, so give me an understanding of the size of the business at the moment. What's your turnover? The turnover to uh, 2018 was 165,000. The gross profit was 117, and the net profit was uh, 60. Okay, and out of your lovely wide range, what are your hero pieces? The wishbones. They're really, really popular. I do four different sizes of those. Uh, also, the Irish coins are really popular as well. Okay, thank you. Katie, hi. Hi. You've got yourself a nice little business, actually. Thank you. What is your cost of acquisition per customer? How are you getting the customers? And how much um, is it costing you? Through social media. Are you, are you paying for any advertising on Google AdWords or stuff no, like that? No, I don't have an advertising budget. OK. I've got a really good online presence. I've got a lot of followers on Instagram. And so what are you seeing the trends at the moment in terms of this type of jewellery? Uh, the youngsters really, really like it. And I get orders online, especially from Amer America. It's a huge market because there are seven times more people with Irish heritage in America than there are in Ireland. Fantastic. Katie. Tuka. Hello, Tuka. Hi. Well, look, I respect what you're doing. Mm. You've proven that you can sell. Mm. However, in the open world of business, mm. you've got to compete. Yes. I don't see anything there that gives you that USP to say, I'm different, my designs are different. Mm. I can see the Irish connection. Mm. You've got an Irish flag on your uh, website? No, I don't. But well, how are people supposed to know yeah. your Irish connection yes. if you haven't got an yeah. Irish flag on your website? Yeah. yeah. Katie, what's the one sentence that would sum your whole business up? Um, it would be enjoy wearing your Katie Mallory piece and enjoy handing it down as an heirloom. Does that make sense? Well, it does, but enjoy your Katie Mallory piece. That doesn't help me.
I struggle with your inability to get to the point of the strap line of your business. Mm, yeah. What's your vision statement? What's your brand statement? I don't know what yours is, apart from the fact yeah. that you're based around Irish products, come here with a British flag. It's all a bit confusing. If you're about Irish heritage, why yeah. haven't you got an Irish flag there? Because it, the product is made in the UK. Why don't you have a half Irish flag, yeah. half British flag? Yeah, no, that's true. It's Irish yeah. heritage made in Britain. Yeah. And by the way, it's got a hallmark. Look, it, it, this is sadly frustrating. The pieces look great. Thank you. But as a business, I'm just struggling to get over the line with it. So I'm sadly going to say I'm out. Thank you. Katie's failure to present a convincing brand message means that she loses her first dragon in Peter Jones. Can she galvanise Tuka Suleiman into making an offer? Look, I think you've got something. Thank you. However, I'm trying to get my head around your value in this business at £700,000? Mm, yes, yeah. How did you get there? Well, um, my online figures um, have been doubling every year. Right. 120. This year it's going to be 240. When you say this year, so wh when did you start the business exactly? Six years ago. Oh, six years ago. Mm. Whoa. So you've been going for six years, you're turning over 120. Yeah. Six years is a long time, Katie. I know. You know, it's like know. a lifetime. I think to be fair though, Tuka, six years ago, I was literally selling to friends. It's only really been a proper business in the last few years. Look, I think you've done great. However, to take a business from zero to 120 in six years mm. is not really a business. It's your passion. The Irishness, it's your name on it. It's very much you. And for that reason, I'm not going to invest you that I'm out. Katie, it's a difficult one. I mean, I need to really be excited about this. You're on the right path. Margins are good. You're doubling every year. That's a great sign. Spend a little more on the marketing and advertising and you'll, you'll be able to grow a lot further. But as far as my decision, sadly, I'm out. Thank you. Katie. Hello, Hi. Jenny. Hi. Um, I like my jewellery. So, um, yeah, these are really nice pieces. Thank you. I can understand the heritage and authenticity behind it all. But what's troubling me here is that this jewellery business lacks a bit of sparkle. Oh, right. I think you tell a really lovely story yes. and you're really proud of your heritage and you really yes. love your jewellery. Yeah. But it's not coming over. It's not coming from you in terms of passion and energy and enthusiasm. Oh, right. The whole thing just feels a bit flat. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel like that. You've got a nice little business here. Yeah. You're doing OK. Yeah. It needs a bit of oomph yes. beneath yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm sorry, that's not going to come from me, and, oh. and I'm out. Well, thank you, yeah. Further disappointment as Jenny Campbell detects a distinct lack of zing in the bling entrepreneur. But Katie's preferred dragon, Deborah Meaden, is still sifting the business for the hidden gem of a money-making investment. Katie. I actually think what you've got is the Irish heritage. Yeah. If you're going into the US, that is absolutely yeah. it and yeah. all about it. Absolutely. OK. So what are your big moments with the Irish connection? I don't know. You Deborah. don't know? I know. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, yeah. The... You know, you should be on every single touch point where yeah. the US is going to be thinking about their yes. Irish heritage. Yes. It is a massive market over there. Every yeah. film that's coming out that yeah. talks about Ireland, yes. everything, you should be yeah. all over that. Yeah, yeah. So my 
question was, you yes. know, are you aware of those touch moments? Yeah. Are you in with the airlines? Yeah. How much are you working this? Yeah. Have you spoken to any airlines? Have you got any? Yes, you I have. have. And? British Airways, are, they're interested and they really like the, the product. British Airways would be absolutely amazing for me. So, yeah. American British Airlines Airways, would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, it would be absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to describe what I see. Yeah. I see somebody who's got lots of pieces that are really quite interesting, mm. but they're really not bought together and sold in a particularly good way. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, you do come across as a little bit low energy. I don't think you are. I think it might just be the environment. Yes. You can't be, because yes. you've, you've, you've yeah. done all of this. Yes. Hmm. I do like it. So, if I'm right, yes, and we can find those big moments, and I can make those connections that can take advantage of those big moments, then I think you could have something. So I am going to make you an offer. Thank you, Deborah. We haven't heard it yet. I'm going to offer you all of the money and I want 40% of the business. And the reason I want 40% of the business is at the moment you don't really have one. The bit that turns this into a good business is missing. Yes. That's the bit yeah. that you should be asking me to fill in. Yes. And that is worth a lot of money. Yes, it is. It is, absolutely. So that's my offer. Thank you. I'd really like to take your offer, Deborah. Thank you. Well, well done. Excellent. Well done. Success in the den for Katie. Excellent. As Deborah Meaden becomes the jewel in her business crown. Great. She leaves with a £70,000 investment and a premium dragon partner. It's an out-of-body experience, really, <laughs> being there. I was quite reserved, and I'm not normally like that. Well, <laughs> fantastic. I'm really pleased. She's a great lady. I just didn't feel the passion in her. You're going to change that. You're right. You're going to change her business. I think Deborah is going to be absolutely brilliant in the business. It's going to be really fun working with her as well.